And we are <laughs> back with Ken and Lisa Lane, uh, the mountain gardener and gardeness. That make is that even a word? I don't know. Can I and, be gardener too? Yeah, we can both be gardeners. I'll okay. be a garden nest. I kind of always wanted to be a nest. <laughs> Lock nest. Anyway, Lisa comes in just with garden questions. What are your neighbors talking about? And and the garden's definitely changed. Mm -hmm. We're definitely into fall now. Yeah. So we had our first frost. I think Flagstaff even got a little bit of snow that they're kind of excited. Yeah. So anyway, the garden's changed. <laughs> And rapidly. Rapidly. And that's yeah. kind of what you expect here in the mountains of Arizona. It could be beautiful one day and then the next day. Holy schmoly. It'll be nice again next week. That's mm -hmm. just the way it works. The so. wind was blowing. We had a oh, my gosh. few things down. What was that Monday? <laughs> it was uh Monday was ferocious. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was scary. I was taking a shower. Oh, we shouldn't say that. <laughs> We'll let people's imaginations well, go. I think they know you shower. We were taking a shower. We were not there we go. <laughs> and that lightning storm hit on Monday, and I went, whoop, whoop. We should get out of here. It's like, like this is dangerous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right over top of the house, like the house was in the clouds. So, anyway. But fun. But yeah, definitely things have changed. So, yep. garden questions have changed. Oh, yeah. What are the garden so questions? So, our first one is from Penny. She says her uh, yard maintenance man wants to shut down her irrigation. She wants to know, is it too early? Is it okay? And then if you shut the irrigation down, how often do you need to water now? Yeah, sure. So, so you can, I mean, really you're at the, you're at, you just have to take on whatever, whenever they want to shut it down, the crew's going to work that neighborhood <laughs> and they're not going to be back. So they're trying to be efficient right. on their labor and there's not enough laborers to, to help or expertise, you know, labor expertise mm -hmm. to go around, especially on irrigation, some of the trades. So just take it whenever they can do it, do it. Generally we'll wait a month till about the middle of November, but okay. We had some frost. Your irrigation's not at risk. So yes, we had a frost this week, but it wasn't a heavy freeze. Right. It just burned off stuff. It's not gonna damage your irrigation with just a couple nights of cold and then it's back nice again. Mm -hmm. It would take a, a kind of prolonged freeze to really do that. We're talking single digits, you know, it's, it's 19 degrees out for a week. And now all of a sudden you got risk uh, with your irrigation, mm -hmm. but a few nights, uh, it's barely 32. Yeah, I think you're okay. So, but they're just trying to be efficient with their labor. Whenever they turn it off, you should be watering your plants normal rate until the leaves drop off. What is that? Till about Halloween or so. Another Couple two, weeks. three weeks or so. Mm -hmm. And then you're throttling that back to twice a month. Mm -hmm. So you should water, especially brand new plants. Uh, let's say you put them in the last year or two and you really want them to grow and, and get fuller. They're not quite mature yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should water those twice a month. Go go out by hand if you need to. Turn it on and water those by hand. Deep soak them mm -hmm. uh, by hand. If we get a storm like we had this week, you could cut one of those out. So we had just shy of an inch of water. An inch of rain will saturate into the ground about six inches of soil. Mm -hmm. So and and a, and a tree might have a foot and a half of roots. Right. So you'll need about three inches of water on the surface to penetrate the entire root ball. So think in those terms, if you're watering by hand, mm -hmm. or if you've got the ability, turn the irrigation on by hand and, and then just turn it off again. So mm -hmm. you don't have to use the clock. There's a valve, cock valve in there in the, in the ground. You can turn it on manually. So the, again, going back to Penny's question, just have them power it down whenever you can. Cause you don't have that much of a choice right. and then, uh, and then water once a week, probably through for the next two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. And once all the leaves are off the trees, water twice a month. Got that it. Help? That gets you going. Helps me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> next question is from Tom. He's been using the humic and the all purpose food on yeah. his lawn. As you recommended, he wants to know is humic, uh, needed as you're going into fall and winter. Tom, first of all, thanks for listening. We do put all this garden content out and it's like uh, like I beat my head up against the wall sometimes. People aren't listening you, or you'll talk about humic and people come in going, uh, I need some help. They haven't even heard one message. We're, we're blanketing the, the, the marketplace. There. there is. There's too much information. So thanks for listening. Uh, yes. So what we say, so Tom, for lawns, if you want amazing lawns that you never have to really dethatch or or plug or... You just want to just be green all year without any real care, no thatch buildup. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so we say start in March with all purpose plant food. And then once a month, add something onto the lawn. So that'd be March, all purpose plant food, humic in April, all purpose plant food in June, July, humic. So just trade those two things off mm -hmm. through October. And then once October hits, yeah, the grass pretty much shuts down in November, December, January, February. So it's 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 in it's in stasis basically. It's just slow motion. So whatever you've whatever green you've locked in by then will stay that way. And so, and then you won't have to to plug or or aerate or dethatch this fall because the humic does all that for you. Humic mm -hmm. encourages deeper roots, gets rid of the thatch. The food causes green growth, nice thick, blanketed, like a weed wouldn't dare compete with this lawn. And so with the two of them, you've got a, a healthy lawn that doesn't, it takes care of itself basically. Right. So that's what you do. So in October, just kind of go up, oh, I'm done. Clean up the fertilizer, you know, spreader, sharpen the tools, put them back for next spring, kind of do all that kind of stuff. And then you're kind of done. So humic isn't just for lawns. It's also oh, no. great for those evergreens oh, yeah. and shrubs and roses, yeah. pretty much anything. Right? Our entire yard has been done with humic mm -hmm. before that last storm. Last weekend, we saw the storm coming. We did the entire lawn, everything, the, the thyme lawn, the perennial flowers, the trees, the shrubs, the roses, everything got humic and all-purpose plant food at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the rain just came and did us good. I so know. plants will be happy. We were prepared. We were prepared. <laughs> Every once in a while that happens. Yeah. <laughs> so Sandy would like to know, are snapdragons considered perennials? She put some in last fall and says they're still looking good. Yeah, Sandy. So, so snapdragons, we actually define as biannuals. That is, they'll last for a couple of years and then they finally fade. We sell them at the garden center as an annual. Mm -hmm. So, and then if they come back, it's like a bonus for you. There you go. So the, the plants here at Waters Garden Center are so healthy, they just keep <laughs> on growing. So we'd rather under, you know, under... To, to, to tell you less right. and to watch them perform better than to, to over mm -hmm. compensate. So they're not a true perennial. They'll tend to reseed and come back for you. So that's why they're acting like a perennial, kind of like a, a California poppy. Mm -hmm. It's very similar. It doesn't necessarily come back from that same root, but it reseeds very easily. Right. So it tends to spread through the yard very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. A true wildflower. Yeah. Uh, snapdragons are great in that they bloom in the fall. They'll keep blooming till Oh, like Thanksgiving or so. And then they'll just have this nice green. You'll see the spent flowers and then uh, um, it'll just stay green through the winter. So it's mm -hmm. pretty robust. Whenever it's done blooming, I'll we'll trim off those spent flowers and you just have this nice green mound and then start fertilizing that again, usually in February. Fertilize them right then and they'll go right into bloom again at by, by March 1. You're starting to see flower buds and things are happening again. So it's right. one of those great fall through spring mm -hmm. plants that just animals don't eat. It's just every, every yard should have one. I agree. Nice to mix with pansies yeah. and violas so that when they finally do go out of bloom, you still got some color there yeah. with your pansies and violas and brightens up the yard. So we had a garden tour last Friday, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, a personalized tour that you could walk. We just showed off our gardens, a grand scale. We didn't go over into details, which, what, what are the plants, but here's yeah. how we designed more design ideas. And we've repotted a few of our containers mm -hmm. and the snapdragons were the tall things because they tend to get pretty, pretty Most good looking. Yeah. And then pansies out in the front. So you mm -hmm. had a two-stepped, stair-stepped right. or violas, I guess, one of the two, but it's easy to put the two together. Oh yeah. And you can plant them now. I know we had frost, but you, you, <laughs> those geraniums got burned. The coleus was vaporized. Oh, the poor coleus. <laughs> dahlias are gone. <laughs> and well, you can put snapdragons, pansies, yeah. violas, Mm -hmm. Dusty Miller stock. We've got all the winter blooming things right. here at the garden center. Now, of course, moms, sure. moms are a great one. Tis the season. Okay. That's great questions today. Penny, Tom, and was that Sandy? Sandy. Sandy. Yeah. I got it right. What a memory. Or I make, <laughs> I take good notes. Yeah. Ken and Lisa Lane, the mountain gardeners and gardeners will be back after this.